it's finally here. My birthday haul video. <laughs> my birthday was in May. It's July. It has taken this long to get everything here. There have been delays. There have been problems with shipping. So many things, guys. So many things. But, um, but it's all here. It's all here now. And we're going to go through everything. And I'm going to show you what uh, I slash my husband, because my husband picked up some things for me that I haven't showed you yet, picked up for my birthday. So we're going to start uh, with Dior. And the reason I want to start with Dior as I pull up my uh, phone here is I want to talk about fragrance. So I mentioned this in a couple of videos about how I had been spending quite a bit of money on Dior. And the reason was that many of the Dior fragrances were going to be discontinued. Now I'm talking about the um, prestige collection from Dior. And I think the name, what is always the name of it? The I forget, Let's see if it'll come to me. It's, there's a name for their collection. Uh, La Collection Privé Christian Dior. So it's the private collection, the frankly more expensive, and in my opinion, um, more complex compl uh, collection of fragrances. So there's a couple that are new, um, and then there's a couple that are being discontinued. And I don't have the entire list of, of all the fragrances that are being discontinued by Dior. Uh, if you're interested, the perfume guy who's here on uh, YouTube and Instagram, I don't know if he's on Instagram. He's, I know he's on YouTube, but um, he actually went, had a video where he talked about the ones that were being discontinued. But I'll tell you the ones that I was particularly concerned with. One is something called Feb Delicious. Delicious? Um, now, Feb has been around, I don't know how many years, not that long. Um, I feel like... I feel like it ha actually has not been that long. This is the canister that it comes in. This is the really large size. This is 250 milliliters or 8.4 fluid ounces. Um, so according to Fragrantica, Fragrantica hmm, it's an amber vanilla fragrance, uh, unisex, and launched in 2015. Uh, top notes are lavender, mint, and bergamot. Middle notes are sour cherry, jasmine, freesia. Base notes are tonka bean, vanilla, uh, caramel, praline, benzoin, milk, sandalwood, leather, and cedar. It is a it is a gourmand scent that I absolutely love. And in fact, I picked up a 250 milliliter bottle when I was in uh, Las Vegas with Lexi and Jen years ago, three years ago. Uh, at the Dior boutique that was there. And the reason I bought another 250 milli milliliter bottle, and trust me, that's not, they are not inexpensive, I'll have the prices go up down below, was that they, they're, it's being discontinued. It's not gonna exist anymore. And so I wanted to have a, a backup of it because I've actually made a sizable dent in the 8.4 fluid ounce one that I have, which is surprising, um, and just keep it sealed. So it's sealed. I'll show you what the bottles look like in the other ones that I've opened. Um, and, you know, I absolutely love that fragrance. It's a tonka bean, vanilla, milky, leathery, lavendery. It's, it's an amazing scent. Um, one of my favorites, actually, of all time. And I was really disappointed that they were getting rid of it. So I was like, well, I have to, I have to buy a uh, backup of. So that's one that I got. Then I found out that, um, where's the other one? Oh, here we go. Uh, Dior Amour was a fragrance that I could get. And Dior Amour is on the website. It's on the Dior website if you look it up. Um, they have a 4.25 and a 8.5, but this is also being discontinued. At least that's my understanding. Uh, so I was like, great. Um, and this is a, it's a soft fragrance. Um, it, ha it doesn't have a tremendous amount of uh, sillage. It's not like a super strong one. But I really like this. I think it's really beautiful. It's also a, a beautiful color. Let me show you this. I also got the 250 millimeters. I got the big size in it because that's what they had uh, available where I bought it. Um, and so it's sort of a pale pink shade. Um, and it's it's really beautiful. It's got jasmine. It's like a, a light jasmine scent. Um, and I'll get you the, the, uh, the notes would be... Well, it's a little hard to figure out exactly what the notes are, but it says powdery notes, iris, and jasmine. And it's it's light. It's a light powdery scent. It's a, I guess what you would say, more uh, traditionally feminine scent, but it's not really floral. It's more of that iris, powdery iris. It's it's really beautiful. I mean, I, I, I 
was so happy that I was able to actually get a bottle of it um, before they get rid of it. Um, okay, so the next is, um, I think it's cashmere. Um, so that's how it's spelled. And it, it's got kind of a tea scent. Um, now this is being discontinued in the smaller sizes. It's still going to be available in the 250 milliliter, the big size. So I bought the small size of it so that I had one in the small size. And then I'm going to go back and get a 250 milliliter one later in the year. Um, so, cause I can't afford to buy them all at once. Um, so that's what it looks like. And it has like a light, sort of light green. I don't know if you can kind of see it. Um, it has tea notes and it kind of smells like sipping tea while in a cashmere sweater. I, I really love this one, um, but it has a little bit of rose uh, tea and cashmere, like a, like a warm kind of scent. Um, I love it. If you like a tea scent, you'll you'll definitely like it. Um, but I would tell you that the smaller sizes are going away. So if you you know are somebody who doesn't want to get the 250 milliliter size, you don't want to spend that kind of money. Um, then and you like a tea scent or you like that scent in general, and you like you've had a, you like that scent specifically, um, and you've had it before, then I would say get it now um, before you know the the smaller sizes go away. But the bigger size you should be able to get. At least that's what I'm being told now. Hopefully I'm not wrong, um, you know, later in the year, if you still want to get it. Um, by the way, a, a 8.5 ounce, the 250 milliliter here in the United States is $450. Prices have lost their mind. Okay. So this is Belle du Jour and I love this so much that I'm actually going to get a second bottle of this. This is being discontinued and it is a fruity musky, beautiful scent. It's like a fruity floral, but it has like a pear note. Um, it's just, it's a, it's a musky fruity pear. I think pear is the thing that gets me most about this one, but it's light and it's something you can wear all summer and you can spritz it all over your body and you wouldn't have to worry about it. Um, it's not a heavy scent. It's not something that is like gonna, you know, overwhelm you. Um, and it's going to be something you can wear anywhere. It's just, it's lovely. And I, I understand, I think why Dior is getting rid of it and rid of like the cashmere and the Dior more, the Feb Delicious, I don't get, but whatever. Um, and the, the, uh, Belle, because they are lighter scents. They're almost like skin scents. So, you know, people maybe aren't as drawn to them. I don't know. I think skin scents definitely have their place, but I get you might not want to buy a skin scent for $450 in these, the big sizes. Um, the other scents that are gone are Mitza, which I absolutely love, but I love the original version of it. It's been, it's actually been changed, reformulated a couple of times. It doesn't have the same intensity that it had in the beginning. However, I would say it was a, it's a beautiful scent. My understanding is the last couple of years that it was still available in Paris, and now I'm being told it's not going to even be available there. But that's hard to tell. It's a, there's a little bit of mistranslation. So I'll let you know, but I do have a bottle of it so that I picked up. And then Coeur Canage, which is like a sweet leather. It's like a lavendery leather. I actually love that fragrance, although I think it was originally traditionally for, I think it was more of a, um, uh, male, uh, focused for a fragrance. I think that's where, I, where it was, uh, targeted, male targeted fragrance. Uh, I think it's unisex. I love it. Um, and I'm trying to get a bottle of it, but it's not easy to get because it's, it's gone. It's discontinued. And there's a few others, but these are the ones that I, that I wanted to get, uh, right away. So that right there was a huge investment. Um, so if you're interested in the Dior fragrances and any one of those that I mentioned, um, they are, they are being discontinued. So now's the time to get them. Um, okay, let's con let's continue. I also picked up um, another uh, Augustinus Botter soothing cream. This is the refill. So I've, I'll put up a picture of what the you know the jar looks like. Um, I've used it, the jar and I I've used it all up and I wanted to get a refill of it. It's a really good soothing cream. I really really like it. I will be honest. If I had bought the um, the Glossier Balm 
uh, before I had ordered this. I might not have ordered another one. Not because I don't love this product, but they're similar actually. And, uh, <laughs> But I had ordered this back in May, so it's too late. But it is a really good product. It's excellent. It's great for people who have more dry or sensitive skin. It is soothing. It is, it's a beautiful product. I'm just saying, like, I didn't necessarily need it right now. But anyway, it's, it's been done. Uh, I picked up three of the Giorgio Armani blushes. Two luminous silk ones, which is the new formula. In 10 and 61, these were shades that I did not have. And I'll show you um, what they look like if you haven't seen my videos on the new, D, uh, new Armani blushes. They are beautiful blushes. I really enjoy these. Um, 10 is very similar to 11, which I did pick up. I think 11 has a little more warmth and a little bit more like shimmer to it. I will have some comparisons up with all the ones that I have now so you can see that. Um, but 10 and 61 are two, are two shades that I didn't have. And one of the Neo Nudes, which is what Armani discontinued. Um, I had a video on that where I talked about these, how much I love these products, they're creams, and they were discontinued. Um, and one shade I didn't have was 45. And I didn't have this shade, and I was like, yeah, I will, you know, I was able to get it. So again, these have been discontinued, but I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna order it while, while I can. Um, I got a little thing from Dolce & Gabbana, little thing. Uh, this is, and you saw the headband that I wore, I've worn it in a couple of videos. Maybe it'll, it'll, you'll know what it is when I pull this out. This is the Dolce & Gabbana. This is the blue, I think the name of it. I forget the design. I'll put the design name down below. I, I do have the name somewhere. I just can't think of what it is right now. Um, but this is basically like the Bandau um, scarf. And you can wrap these, you can use this to wrap like around the handle of a purse if you'd like. Um, my idea is to have it more than anything else for my hair. <laughs> so I'm really excited. I love this design. I love the, um, I love the Sicilian print. Uh, my, my father's family is Sicilian and I love honoring that uh, tradition. So I picked that up um, and I picked up the headband that went with it. So there, the, there are two different ones, but I got, I finally got this one, which is the, which is the scarf, which is the bandeau. Remember I mentioned that, uh, for the, the Chanel Le Beiges, I picked up the Coco Flash. Uh, I did pick up both the shades, Escapade and Destination, those two. Destination I've showed you before, um, cause it came a little bit earlier and I've been wearing it cause it's a very light, um, pink. You know, it's easy to like just use anywhere. Um, so I've been wearing it and then I literally got uh, Escapade 176 not that long ago. And it's a bright pink, uh, bright red, I'm sorry, uh, like a warm red, but because it's the flash formula and it's so uh, uh, like sheer and like juicy, I was like, yeah, okay, I'll get it. Um, and so I picked up both of those. This is why it's a good thing that the Nordstrom sale doesn't have that much that I want to get, because... Okay, uh, the Chanel. This is the um, nail look set. This is the manicure set. This is the one that has all the little stickers in it. Um, I'll show you. There is the a red shade and the white shade. I believe the red shade is Incendiaire. Yes, Incendiaire, which is one of the shades that's in the Chanel Codes collection. I think that video went up already um, where I showed you all the... the all the plastic uh, mirrors and <laughs> brush sets I picked up. Anyway, um, there's little nail stickers in this set. You can put them on your nails. And I just thought it was a really adorable set and it's limited edition. So I did pick that up um, and I will do my nails with them at some point. I just have not had time. Uh, all right, next is a scent which I've, I don't think I've ever heard anyone talk about um, except for maybe the perfume guy. So this is the Art Nouveau collection, Imperial Peacock. This, first of all, is beautifully boxed. Um, comes in this gorgeous white leather box with the gold lettering on the front. And um, Imperial Peacock is the name of the scent. And um, it comes in this beautiful presentation. Now this is a very small bottle. This is, how big is this? 0.84 fluid ounces, so it's not even one fluid ounce, but this is a extra de parfum. So this is a very strong 
concentration. And the bottle is just stunning. Now there is a large bottle of this that you can get, which is I think four ounces or something like that, I don't really remember. Um, that's a uh, Edipuffum, and that one is like $380. This one was uh, significantly like half that price. Um, but it is a strong concentrate, but again, it's a small, it's a small size. It is a amber vanilla fragrance and uh, it's beautiful. So if you like something that's like an amber vanilla kind of thing, um, you'll really like that scent. If you like amber, if you like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not amber, um, it does have amber, but um, Tonka as well. It's just, just gorgeous. And it comes with this little book about the designer and about the collection and all the details. There's Imperial Peacock, which is considered an oriental gourmand. So it's uh, almond, rhubarb, heli almond is what I was trying to say, not amber. Almond, rhubarb, heliotrope, tonka bean, cinnamon, black vanilla, musk, sugar note, and balsamic note. It smells so delicious. It's like a sweet warmth. Ugh. Absolutely, absolutely love it. Love it, love it. There's Eau de Rose, which of course is, you know, an Eau de Rose. There's an Oriental Enigma, which is also an Oriental Gourmand, which has hibiscus and hazelnut and dates. I want to try that one. Um, and then Black Beetle, which is a spicy Oriental with bergamot, raspberry, incense, nutmeg, chili, patchouli, musk, and woods. Um, and Majestic Nard, which I don't really know what that is. Uh, it's Galbium, Galbanum, why can't I speak? Galbanum, pink pepper, incense, saffron, uh, cedar, sandalwood, patchouli. They all sound really interesting. I, I don't know much about the line, but I, I had got my nose on the Imperial Peacock and I was just like, I must have it. I love almond fragrances and I love almond vanilla fragrances. And that one is just, I mean, it's simple. It's not a, like a super complex fragrance, but it's beautiful. I picked up another one of the Dior cases. This is the red canage case. Uh, came just in time because I now have new addict lipsticks. With that video I know went up, so I now have another case to fill. Suku Summer was also on this collection, and I did. I have used Suku Summer uh, on camera. Uh, I haven't used this one. Uh, if you guys are, well, I did use this shade, but anyway, it doesn't matter. If you are interested in seeing the summer collection, like actually in a a look. I could do something on, on Instagram or I could do something here if you want me to. Uh, but again, it's not available anymore, I don't think. But I use this shade, this purple shade here and this shade here um, doing a look a couple weeks ago. It's a beautiful, beautiful collection. And I picked up nail polishes and I picked up lipsticks and I picked up uh, blushes, which I've shown you in, in videos as well. But you know, I, I picked up the summer collection. I'm going to pick up the fall collection, or there's there may even be a pre-fall collection. I don't even know at this point. But Suku is my number one at this point. I just I pick up the collections for me. I love them, and I think um, they just do a beautiful job. More Chanel. Um, so I'm going to unwrap this. I have not opened it uh, because I wanted to do it for you guys. And again, I've had this one sitting here for like I don't know a month because it was <laughs> that separate boxes. So I've had this for like the longest time and I wanted to open it, but I was like, no, wait. Um, so the Les Exclusives de Chanel. So what this is, I'm sure you know what it is, but I want to be very careful how I open it so they don't all break. Those are all the little minis of the Chanel perfumes. This was a limited edition and exclusive to Chanel and uh, ex uh, exclusive Chanel perfumes. And I, uh, you know, there's actually don't have any of these, um, interestingly enough. I have, and it has a little uh, hair oil too, which uh, I'll show you how tiny these are. They're really tiny, guys. These are super tiny bottles. Um, but I do have this hair oil that I picked up in Italy, actually. But I don't own any of the exclusive perfumes, uh, strangely enough. I don't have any. Uh, I don't have Lion, Le Lion, I don't have Cormandel, I don't have 1957, I don't have, I don't have any of these. So I thought this was a great way for me to try them and I just thought it was such an adorable little set that I had to get them. But uh, yeah, I've, uh, I have not, I have not purchased any of the exclusive perfumes from Chanel and so I thought this would be a great way to try them and just absolutely adorable at the same time. All right, so 
This was back in May when they had this gift with purchase. Harrods had this bag. And so I got this bag, uh, which is a really sturdy bag. I think they do this in May of every year. I'm not really sure. But anyway, it might not be in May. Maybe it's just like a summer thing. But I really love this bag. And so I wanted to show you that, um, that I got that. And then, did I get anything else in here? Did I just shove everything else? There was like a whole bunch of cool things in here, like that came with the bag. Um, different like gifts, different products that I need to try. Have I tried them? No. Um, but yeah, so there's all kinds of stuff in here that I do need to try, like different scents, different perfumes, little things of La Mer. I, just, I really like the, I really like the bag. I just think it's, I think it's a great bag and it's just like a really sturdy bag to put all your, to put all your good stuff in. Okay. I also got the headband that I'm wearing right now. This is velvet. This is from La Randall. And I got this, um, it, the color is spruce. And I got it on a really good deal. It was like $50 uh, on Super Sale. And so it's it's a really big headband, very puffy, um, but it's velvet and it was green. So I was like, must have it. Uh, and then there's more, there is more coming, but uh, I was gonna wait for that box. My husband picked up a couple things for me. Uh, the YSL quads, uh, I've done one already, which is Stella Dolls. I have two more to show you guys. And so that, uh, that was incredibly kind. But he also picked up two gifts for me. Um, so this is the E Saint Laurent Six Place Saint Sulfice. I think that's correct. This is the box that it comes in. And this is a YSL sort of like Privé collection, the Vestaires de Parfums collection from E Saint Laurent. And this is a leather fragrance, but it reminds me very much of Queer Canage, which of course, as I mentioned a little while ago from Dior, has been discontinued. It's kind of like a lavender um, uh, leather. And so if you like leather fragrances, if you like something that could be like a little bit, you know, traditionally masculine, I don't I don't see fragrances that way. I think you wear whatever you like, uh, but it's probably a targeted, male targeted fragrance. Um, uh, it's like a sweet, lavendery uh, leather and I love the scent and my husband picked this up for me um, which was incredibly kind and I love the bottle it's just a beautiful it's like a, it's a stunning bottle I mean it's like this super black uh, square bottle with this very matte like almost like leathery top and you can't you can't see anything in it like I you can't see through it at all but it's it's absolutely beautiful then we're getting down to the end guys I promise um, he went to Chanel and picked me up this beautiful Chanel scarf. And I love, um, I love blues. Uh, those are like my favorite colors besides green. And it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous scarf um, with the CCs and the Cambon um, and the um, Camellia flower on it. It's kind of like a graphic art sweater, sweater, uh, silk scarf. And just, I mean, something that you could just, you know, and I thought about it, like, I could also do, like, you know, I've got too big of a headband on at the moment, but so it can be used for the hair or of course the traditional, you know, scarf. Yeah, I just, I love the print. I love the colors. And uh, he, he basically snuck out in the middle of a meeting, not in the middle of a meeting, he was at lunch, but you know, like he had like 10 minutes and he went over to uh, a Chanel, boutique to get it for me. So it is incredibly sweet. Um, so and that was like a big surprise. And then the last thing, Hermes. Now, I don't usually buy Hermes, to be honest with you. Uh, in fact, I think the only Hermes thing I have, my husband bought me. I have an Hermes scarf. Do I have anything else but Hermes? I don't think I do. Um, I think, I, I love the products. I think they're beautifully done. Uh, I just think the prices are outrageous. So I don't own anything by Hermes because I'm just like, I'm not going to spend that much money for something. Um, but, <laughs> but, uh, one of my friends talked me, told me about these shoes and she was buying these shoes and I was not going to buy them because I was like, I don't need more shoes. 
However, I really liked these and I liked the um, height. I'm five feet tall. I, I like to wear shoes that have a little bit of height to them, but I was a gymnast when I was younger and I have injured every part of my body, my knees, my back, my ankles, my ankles especially. So I really can't wear like high heels, like thin stiletto heels or even like a thinner heel. Uh, my ankles give out, it's not a pretty sight, but I can wear something that has like a wedge. These, I, I did, I loved them. I was like, oh, I love them. They're beautiful. Um, this is kind of like a like a tan beige suede. It's, it's a really nice, um, a really nice color that frankly goes with everything. I wear a size six and a half or seven. I did get the, they only come in whole sizes, so I got a 37. I could have gotten away with 36. The 37 is a little big, um, but it's fine. Um, you know, your feet swell in the summer anyway, so it, uh, it's okay. But yes, I do really like these. The, the issue I have with the with the Hermes, like the Oron uh, slides, I don't like those because I don't think they give you any support and my foot goes through them completely. I have a pretty narrow foot. So the problem I have with these a little bit is that my foot kind of slips through them. So um, because like this part of my foot, you know, like is not, is not big. It's, it's narrower. So it's made so that anybody, even if you have a wider foot or like, you know, a, a bigger foot, it would fit you, even if you're a seven. Um, so someone has a narrow foot, your foot's gonna go forward a little too much, but there are pads that you can basically put on the bottom of the shoe that will keep your foot from moving forward all the time. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. But I love the way the shoe is designed. I have to say, I do love the look of the shoe. I do love the design. I love the fact that there's height, but there's not something that's gonna make me teetering and fall over, because you know, that happens to me. If my sister ever watches this video, she'll, she'll laugh because she knows how many times I've fallen down. Like I do, I fall down all the time. Um, even when I'm not wearing heels because my ankles give out. It's, it's not good. Uh, but I was not gonna buy these shoes. Um, but like I said, my friend had decided that she was going to get them and I, I think she got different uh, shades. She might've gotten the shade and another shade. I don't really remember. But I will say that when I saw them, I was like, you know what, that's, that's a really beautiful shoe. And it's something that I can wear forever. It's not some trendy thing that I you know won't like, um, you know, a couple years from now. It's a style that I'll continue to wear. And so it's my first, my first Hermes box that I've ever owned. Um, because like I said, my, my husband got me a, um, a scarf from Hermes and I don't even, I think I kept the box. I'm not one who really like keeps like boxes and stuff. It was a birthday gift to myself uh, in addition to all these other birthday gifts to myself. So like I said, I spent quite a bit on my birthday uh, and, and, and also my husband bought me my, you know, um, Dior bags that I that did the unboxing for. So I'm good. I'm good for a really long time. And uh, it's okay that I really, you know, that the Nordstrom sale, I'm gonna try to stay away from it if I can. I love the Nordstrom sale, don't get me wrong, but I think I've, I've reached my limit for, for the foreseeable future, except for things that I'm, you know, trying out for all of you. So I'm happy to answer any questions. I'm happy to go into detail on anything. Uh, you know, the DR perfumes were a good chunk of this because like I said, they're, they're being discontinued. And I can tell you right now, like the Mitsa perfume, which I which I really love, it's not for everybody. It's a, it's a unique scent and it's heavy. Um, that scent uh, was discontinued basically a couple years ago, but you could still get it at the, the Paris Boutique. You can find that like on eBay for like $1,000. I mean, the prices have skyrocketed because you can't get it. So although it was expensive to buy these now, it was still far cheaper. I got to get them during a sale. Um, at Harrods, so I at least got 10% off. So, you know, I, again, don't get me wrong, ridiculous prices that Dior has brought these to, but they're just gonna keep going up because they're discontinued and I won't be able to get them except on the secondary market. So that's why I bought them now. Um, and then the other stuff I just really liked and it was on sale. So yeah, the, uh, I know, and it was my birthday month. So yes, this is my birthday haul. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, uh, if you have any specifics, if you wanna see the shoes on, if you wanna see the scarf on, any of those things, let me know, I'm happy to, happy to do that. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. Now I have to put all this stuff away. <laughs> I hope to see you in another video really soon. Bye.